This is the cemetery at Palmer. The sun right there says Palmer Cemetery. It sits on the point that is close to where the holly dumps into the elk on Sutton Lake. And below this place down the hill there, which I'm going to walk down there, there's a huge flat down there. That's where the town of Palmer used to be. This is on Sutton Lake. This would be towards the downriver end of where Palmer sat. Where the lake curves around to the left there, right out of sight is Holly Junction. And right at the end of that point right there that's in the center of the screen, if you go around that, that's where that coal mine was that serviced uh, Holly Junction and the steam trains from way back when. I'll put a link in this video to uh, that video. But th this big flat through here, and out of sight up this way is uh, where the Holly dumped into Elk. Palmer sat right along here. Palmer would have stopped right about in here before the mountain starts to curve back around to the left there. According to the 1915 map, which I'll post, would have sat right in here. So you can see coming off this hill, I don't see any remnants of foundations or anything up on the hill so far. But in all this area, this huge flat that comes around here, you can see why Palmer had so many buildings. There's probably 20 or 30 uh, structures indicated on that 1915 map. Even out here, it's much, it's even wider the further you go around. But so far it looks like there's really nothing left of Palmer other than the old Palmer Cemetery that sits up on the hill. We did find this old piece of iron. Not sure what that was to. It's laying on the railroad grade, or what I assume is the railroad grade here. The side that went up Holly. Well, this is a huge flat where Palmer sat, so they tore up everything, foundations and everything, when they flooded this. Right. This is the massive flat area where Palmer was located. I'm still on the elk right there where the camera's looking right now. And right there in the center is where the holly is dumping into the elk. The elk would go up behind that point there. And up this valley here is the holly. We have finally something indicated building here. Some old red brick buried under. Just right close to the flat here. Right there's the holly. Boy, it's nice and clear. That's the huge flat. Now, right back in there is where the sawmill would have been located. Because the railroad kind of hugged the river the closer it got to the river here. So I'm going to dub in a picture of the ruins of the sawmill, part of some of the other buildings in Palmer. It would have sat way out there on that flat. And so when you're looking back, you're looking up the fork of Holly. And if you look at the various mountain structures here, I'm gonna have to get a little bit wider. Give you an idea of what that picture looks like. If you see the mountain over here that's in the shade, the way it dips down and the one across from it, then the mountains in the background, that's you know, the angle that picture was taking looking up the Holly River from the mill because the tracks wrapped around here. Uh, right up there past the laurels where the cemetery is, Palmer Cemetery. But there's no structures in there. I'm finding all types of coal as I walk along here. 
All this red brick here, it's similar to the brick that was lying over on the railroad grade coming across the bridge at Holly Junction. Okay, as I come out uh, about 50 feet or more from the bank, here's some more red brick land here. Indication of some type of structure at one time. That brick has a name on it. O-N-O -O is the last. It might be similar to one of the ones I found at Holly Junction. Look that brick cover. It says Bessemer on it. Very little remnants of what was left of Palmer here. Coal scattered, brick scattered. Well, I'll be. Look at that. <laughs> railroad track. So the, well, whether that's part of the railroad, that track goes all the way out here. I don't know if the railroad came right around the curve here or went way out into the flat and then straight down to where this is. I'm starting to see more remnants the further I walk out on this flat. I found a solid area to walk out on. More blocks of various type. <laughs> railroad spikes. Hold the rails in. Like a piece of tile there of some type. Piece of iron there. That the ground literally is just scattered with blocks and bricks. Look at this here, where this was just broke up. Iron. Another rail just laying there. Really big pieces of coal there. Uh, that's not an. That's an iron pipe. My bad. Couple more pieces of iron pipe here. And this big pile of coal. Now that I'm out here, now you can see, I'll dub this picture in again, the ruins of the mill. So I'm probably pretty close to it right here. Because the mill sat on this side. That set of tracks is off to my left right now, but that's kind of the view of that old picture. So this area where that's all broken up here might have been the mill still the remains of the mill and across from where that track was right there are some of the buildings that you'll see in that picture more bricks this one has on an M-O-N-T-I might be C piece of iron sticking up there Monticello maybe another iron pipe Go over close to the bank here. Yeah, got all the coal scattered down here. Right along the bank of the Holly River. Pieces of iron sticking up there. More bricks. Let me turn this one over. Uh, nothing on it. Another area way out here broken tile. It almost looks like a uh, chimney liner is the type of with this coal here, who knows. Yeah, we got some wording on there. <laughs> Something from Chicago. You get 360 the site. I'm only about, still only about halfway out this huge flat where Palmer sat. It's still the elk that I'm filming right now. And if you've ever been to Baker's Run Campground across the way there, there's, I think it's called like Tunnel Fishing Access Road. It ends right there. And you could walk up to the railroad tunnel that goes under the uh, mountain. B&O had to put the tunnel under the mountain right there because of the flooding of the lake. Their uh, railroad grade was underwater there. So it goes through there, and if any of you boated on there, you'll know where the uh, railroad trestle crosses. Just right below where Holly Junction would have been. 
below the forks of the elk and holly here, which is just right there. It's going up elk that way. Well, that's a steeper wall than I ever thought of there. I fish here a lot. And then we come right back around. So my guess is all this debris here has probably has something to do with that mill that was burned. The ruins. And if you look real close in the picture to the left of the mill ruins, you'll see the railroad tracks. There's a couple guys standing on it. Then some other wooden buildings would have sat somewhere in this area. So right up on that point there is where the cemetery is. You drive right up to it. I definitely recommend four-wheel drive just because it's uh, really rough. I wouldn't take a low-clearance car here. As I'm walking out of the Palmer site, I'm still about halfway out on the big flat that you will see in the drone video. Bits and pieces of iron here. Big flat piece of iron laying right here. Broke up. How much of the town actually existed at the time they put the dam in, in 59 or 60. How long had it been abandoned at that point in time? Coming back up on that. Lone rail here. Probably didn't salvage it because it's got a bend in it. You see, it's underground right here, all the way right to here. Just for anyone who wants to visit this site in, uh, when the lake is drawn down like this, there's clearly an old road right here going up the hill to the cemetery. So that road leads to the, I'll call it the Holly side of Palmer, right there. I walked down where I first started videoing on the uh, elk side, the low downriver end of Palmer. So this road come off here, but it's eroded over time from the lake. 60 years or more of the lake, but clearly an old road right here led right down. William H. Morrison, uh, private to CLUS Army Korea. 32 to 19. This appears to be the most recent grave in here. I can tell there's some of these stones are recreated. Those aren't, that wasn't put there originally. Bickle baby. Let's see what this one on the end says here. Cora Helmick, 1927, 87 to 27. Right on the slope here. Westfall, John Westfall, Barbara George, Shores, S-H-O-R-E-S. -E A lot of scattered ones here, some with just field stones. Uh, some Gillespies. You know, something died. Infant Gillespie, 1906. Wow, Griffin Gillespie, or Gillespie, depending where, what part of the state you're in, 1833 to 1906. That's an old one there, obviously. And just a few more scattered around here. Right above where we were filming at. This is part of the road going back out. It is rough, four wheel drive recommended. Really rocky. Not sure I'd come down here in wet conditions. But it's manageable for four wheel drive, just take your time.
a little bit of a washout right here. clearance for that for sure. Yeah, it's probably enough to give you an idea. 